Hey, what's good, bro? My name is Ilya and welcome back to Shop Andex. So today we are building a kind of unique workbench. At least I haven't seen any pretty uh, similar workbenches in the internet. So it should be quite interesting. It's a workbench for a customer. Uh, the guy builds doors. He needs a long, not too wide, pretty stable and pretty light workbench with some drawers, with some doors on wheels and made from basic materials so it will be easy to replace something if something gets broken. I think I've said everything, so let's get to work! A little tip for the beginner metal workers. Uh, you can see that not only wood, but the metal um, is not always straight, as you can see here. That's quite a gap here. Uh, I can try to fix it. I have all my pieces nicely cut to the size. Uh, I take my time to prepare my metal to make sure it's all the same size and it's nice and clean. Uh, this way, just <laughs> look at my hand. <laughs> I was just uh, grabbing some dirty metal. But anyways, uh, if it's all nice and straight, it's just gonna be a lot easier to weld it and it's going to be a nicer result at the end. So the main frame is kind of ready. Uh, I really like how strong it is. I can like really jump on it and it doesn't even bend at all. Uh, really strong, like it. The corners are nicely closed with end caps and grinded. And now I need to add some structure. Uh, so we'll be able to attach some shelves and some covers for the sides and stuff like that. And the meanwhile, this guy arrived. I hope this bad boy is gonna help me a lot with cutting my steel because uh, I was getting really tired cutting everything with the angle grinder. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try it out now. So this is how the frame is coming along. I still have to add a few bits to it, uh, but last night I came up with a, uh, what I think pretty cool idea. So I found a pile of uh, leftover corrugated metal uh, in a pile of trash basically, and I thought that I can use it for the table. I've tried a piece here uh, and it really does look like a shipping container, I think it looks uh, really cool. I tacked it in place with some welds, but it's not super perfect, we have some little gaps like this. I think I'm gonna go over with the black silicon around the sides and it's gonna look like a, 
a piece of shipping container. I really like how it comes along. Okay, it looks like I'm somewhat complete with the frame. Uh, I've added these pieces here so I could attach the drawer slides to them. Unfortunately, I couldn't talk you through a lot for this build uh, because the customer needs this table ASAP and I had to submit it real soon and I was really rushing to finish it, but I couldn't be happier with the end result. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, we have the steel structure, some nice casters, full extension drawer slides, big drawers, concealed hinges with a soft close. Thing. Here on the bottom, I've used just some thick piece of MDF. I think there is really no point in using plywood there. I've had to weld these tabs on and add this piece of wood uh, so I could attach the hinges. I've had to add those posts here uh, to allow some space to reach for the bolts. We had the shipping container look on the side. I've used 21 mil plywood for the top. And guess what? It was six centimeters shorter than the standard one. <laughs> so I had to make a little extension, uh, but it's looking nice, I think. It's ready to be submitted. And there we go, the table is out to live its new life. And I shall move on to the next project. I hope it's gonna serve somebody a good deal. It's kinda sad to give it away. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe, will be much appreciated. And I see you pretty soon. Goodbye, hermano.